everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm looking for friends because you were told to invite friends tonight. I hope you did that. If you're a guest here for the very first time ever, put in the chat, hey, I'm new. Uh, we just want to put you in a drawing for free Tupperware. No, just kidding. We're sending everybody free Tupperware. All of our guests tonight get free Tupperware. If you're a first time guest with us, we want to give you a gift. And so if you sold Tupperware a long time ago, and so it's not your first time, but it's your first time in a really long time, that counts too. So you're our guest tonight and we want to say welcome. Um, it's our homecoming night. We want to talk about how to bring people back to the business that might have been part of our business in the past. We are getting ready to go into our biggest season of the year, uh, September, October, November, December. We will sell more in those four months than you did all year. So get ready to make some big money. Also, we need help. <laughs> I posted this week how many actual consultants are in each state and the population of those states. How can you possibly take care of all the population of a state with so few people in Tupperware? And so we are desperately looking to grow our team and grow our business and to help more people find what we have found in Tupperware which is amazingness, okay? So I will tell you, that's a word I made up, amazingness. <laughs> but it's pretty cool because it explains what it means. Um, and it is truly a, a company to be so proud of and a company to be uh, really have fun with. I like my backdrop. Isn't it cool? I'm in my son-in-law's office. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yep, they made that. <laughs> All right. Um, and so... Enough about my family. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're going to see more about my family tonight. I want to tell you when I joined Tupperware, I came in Tupperware, honestly, to get Tupperware in my kitchen. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I didn't know this was such a great company. I didn't know I could make six figures. I didn't know I could travel the world. I didn't know I would put kids through college and not have that hardship on the family. You know what? Tupperware has been a bonus for me, a huge answer to prayer. And what you look at and see a Tupperware bowl, I look at and see the opportunity that has been given to me and I've been able to give so, so many other people. So if you're ready to have a debt-free Christmas, if you're ready to think different, if you're ready to uh, be willing to kick your own butt <laughs> because there's nobody telling you what to do, when to do it, and how long to do it, you have to be in charge of you. You have to be a really good boss and you have to be self-disciplined. You have to be a self-starter. But when you got all of that, you can get this, all right? And you know, it is truly something I challenge myself all the time. I love being a self-starter. I love being my own boss. I love being creative. And in Tupperware, you can do all of that. So if you've ever wanted to really use your skills and be creative and just um, be able to try to create your own marketing strategies and plans, you get to do all of that with Tupperware. Um, and so we have plenty for you, but what's nice is you also get to be creative yourself. So we have a lot going on tonight. And so um, we've got a demo from Bobby, uh, Bonnie. I didn't say Bobby. Um, and uh, somebody's trying to call me. I bet it's somebody trying to get on the Zoom and they thought it was a phone number. So if you know a uh, Marie Roberts, call her and tell her, click the button. All right. All right. If she's a guest trying to get on. All right. And so... We want to uh, share with you, we have Bonnie uh, doing a demo tonight. We have Jenny sharing with us all kinds of really cool products that are out right now. And we also have a demo from our little people. Are you ready? I'm coming out in just a minute. First, we're going, and we have training from uh, Ellen and training from Loretta. So first we want to do is go jump over to Loretta and tell us about those spice dispensers. We want to know all about them. I believe she's in her office and she's going to show you what she does with her spice dispensers. Yay, you guys. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> so, you guys, I, okay. I got my spice uh, set right here. And you all know that is a September um, sales flyer bonus. And that is a great set to um, talk about and highlight and whether you're doing live parties or home parties or events. This, this is the entire spice set. I have three of these in my home. They're only about eight inches by eight inches. So they'll fit in a standard little cupboard. They'll, they'll, they're great in um, any small areas, even if you live in an apartment, um, you know, a, a, a small, uh, maybe even like a camper or something like that. 
because you can get all these spices, okay, in one little area. There's 16 spices right here. Instead of digging through and finding them and going through. So how many of you guys have uh, spices in your home um, as long as you've been married? <laughs> and um, maybe you used them one time? And um, you have them in that, like, I know you're all tough work people, but if you weren't, okay. You have them in that little jar that you opened up. Do you think they're still fresh? Hmm. No, probably not, guys. They are probably um, um, not as fresh as you think, okay? So if, once you twist open that jar, um, they tell you that they'll probably only stay fresh about three to six months. Guess what? In our tough work spice shakers, oh my goodness, they can stay fresh not just months, even years, okay? As long as they're clipped on both sides and sealed, you're gonna be off, you're gonna be okay. Now, um, our small spice shakers, they come in a four ounce capacity and, and whether they're, and the large ones are a eight ounce, okay? So that's a half cup and a cup. Now, I love little spice shakers because on this side, you get a teaspoon in there and you can see the splat edge right here. It can be, um, you can level off a teaspoon, all right? And if you need a tablespoon of something, how many teaspoons are in the tablespoon? Anybody know that? Type it in the chat. How many teaspoons <laughs> in a tablespoon? Let's see. I'm not seeing any answers here. How many? Oh, I saw, oh, oh, two, four, keep going. Three, all right, Jessica. There are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So if you need to get a tablespoon, just do it three times with your teaspoon, okay? So you get a teaspoon on, on the other side and level it off. And the other side, you can sprinkle, okay? If you have some of your bigger herbs, like oregano, um, my Italian spice, I need to open it up on the larger side so that I can get that out because it's a little bit chunkier, okay? So you get little spices in there and you can keep it fresh because you're nice and airtight. Now these spice shakers have a little diffused side panel um, so that the light doesn't quite go in there. You don't want a lot of light um, hitting your spices to, um, to um, you know, kind of kind of like make them go bland. Oh, and the other thing too, is if you rub, rub your spices in your hands and they don't smell like oregano, probably not fresh either, okay? So you're gonna keep them nice and fresh in here. And I just think it's fun to spin this little thing again, <laughs> the little guy around. Did you ever go to the jewelry store and you're spinning a little thing around? So it's fun to spin it around. Okay, maybe it's just me. <laughs> hey, we can have fun in, in the kitchen, all right, guys? Um, so you got all your different spices here. Now, I do recommend, um, I have a label maker. And so I've had my spices for a long time. And so I have the label maker. And it's perfect to label up my spices here. If you don't have a label maker, um, I don't know if Pam still has her spice labels. Um, you can go to Amazon and you can get pre printed spice labels, or some of you guys are very creative and you have the um, crickets, whatever, and you can make those little labels really cute too. So, I suggest that you label your spices because after a while, you won't know if it's the garlic or the onion powder, you won't know if it's the cream of chowder, chowder or powdered sugar, and then you have to put your finger in there and taste it. Okay, yuck. <laughs> all right, they start blending all together. Um, and you definitely want to keep your spices airtight. Um, type in the chat, name three red spices. Three red spices, let's type them in the chat. What are three red spices that you know? Let's see, the red spice for me. Chili powder, that's one. Cumin, paprika, I have another one. Paprika, chili powder, come on, give me another one. It's one of my favorites actually, and Cayenne pepper, cayenne, okay, good and healthy for you. Um, did you know that um, these little bugs, they're just part of nature and it's okay, but they look just like the red spice, okay? So if you wanna test your spices for little bugs, you're gonna take a little white sheet of paper and you're gonna take a teaspoon of your paprika and your chili powder and your cayenne or whatever you have and draw a circle around it and if you have pets, make sure they don't go jump on the counter or kids, okay? And you're gonna leave it out overnight, okay? Now, if those little red spices have now jumped out of that circle, they're probably not red spices anymore, okay? They're probably moving. Uh, and I'd probably get rid of those spices and start fresh, okay? And when you have them in your Tupperware spice containers, they're not gonna travel from spice 
to spice to spice. Did you know that spices are the most expensive pantry item in your kitchen? I am going to share my screen. I did a little homework for you guys and I updated um, uh, my chart here. So let me get it up. All right. And uh, let's see where I put that. I put it somewhere. Here it is. Um, here we go. All right. Check this out, guys. You guys can all see my screen. Give me a nod. Yes, maybe. Am I sharing? No, I'm not sharing. <laughs> all right. How about now? Am I sharing now? No, I can't see your faces. What is up with my screen tonight? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Yes, we can see it. Yeah, we yes, see it. Can see it. Sorry, sorry, guys. I could not see your heads anymore. All right. So check this out, guys. This is a spice comparison uh, chart. I just updated it because I did this way back, way back, okay? Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but I will post this on the website too, all right? So I um, went out and price, uh, priced out bulk uh, spices versus local grocery store. I used one certain local grocery store and I tried to stick to one brand unless I didn't have it, okay? So that I kind of kept it apples to apples, okay? Um, but a, let's just start with allspice, okay? An ounce of allspice at uh, the local grocery store was gonna cost me $5.06, okay? At the bulk food store, an ounce would cost me $1.27, okay? I mean, can, is it crazy? It's insane, okay? So these, but the small spice shakers right here hold four ounces, okay? So I did a little thing, like if I were to fill my entire spice rack right here with eight of the uh, four ounce and eight, and eight of the eight ounce spices, the spice shakers, okay? And I kind of like, I did the one star for the eight ounce and the four ounce and the two stars are the eight ounce, okay? If I did the exact same thing from the local grocery store, would have cost me $519. This little spice rack right here would cost me over $500 to fill at the local grocery store. Uh-uh, not doing it, okay? Now, I am blessed. I live near an Amish community, so I can go to bulk food stores there. But I got these prices off a bulk food site um, online, okay? So you can also order them online. And I could get those exact same spices and those exact, exact same um, amounts, okay, for $64. I think that's more than gold, okay, guys? That is the markup on spices. So you definitely want to keep them fresh. And you definitely want to inv invest in your Tupperware spice shakers, okay? Um, let me just give you a couple benefits of our spices. Um, spices and herbs have lots and lots of health benefits, okay? If you have digestion issues, um, you wanna boost up your immune system, you wanna level off your blood sugar. Did you know, did, they did a little study with people and I forget when and where and everything, but I just remember they gave them a, a slice of apple pie every day, okay? And they were checking their blood sugar level and they figured, hey, let me see what's gonna happen to their blood sugar at the end of the week, okay? What was surprising was that their blood sugar level did not spike. And that's because apple pie has what? Cinnamon in it. So, so healthy to have that teaspoon of cinnamon somewhere, somehow. I actually sprinkle it in my coffee. If I'm doing a yogurt pa uh, parfait at home, I'll sprinkle it, sprinkle it in my yogurt, in my um, oatmeal, wherever you can sprinkle a little cinnamon, just throw it in there. So very healthy for you. Inflammation, if you're suffering from inflammation, and you know what, the older we get, the more inflamed <laughs> our joints are. So I try to, to, to throw a lot of that into my into my meals. Turmeric, um, ginger, cinnamon again, all anti-inflammatory. So uh, heart, uh, cayenne pepper, stress, bone health. So very healthy to have these spices and herbs in your meals. And I'm gonna tell you what, if you think that eating healthy is bland and boring, all you gotta do is add spices. Add spices to your meals, okay? Um, the other thing I love to share um, with my parties and my hosts and my customers is um, our do-it-yourself spices. You want to save even more money? People love spice blends. I mean, they go crazy buying spice blends. And again, huge markup on that. Plus, they're going to add a lot of sodium and they're going to add a lot of fillers to that. Why not make them yourself? One of my favorites, I think I have it here. Actually. I don't have it here, but um, there's a chipotle seasoning that I always, 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 always 
have on hand. My Italian is also another one that I love. And the other one that I really love is the um, the blackening seasoning. I'm telling you, I sprinkle the blackening seasoning either on my fish or my chicken. I will put it in the micro pro grill, three and a half minutes per side. And I've got some beautiful grilled chicken that I can have for the week for my meal prepping. I can add it to salads. I can add it to whatever, okay? Um, so these are great. I'll post all of this on your websites. And guys, right now, this spice rack carousel set is a deal of a lifetime. You're going to want more than one. So you can have one for all your like cooking spices. I have another one for my baking spices. And then I have another one at my mom's house who lives with me <laughs> in her little kitchen area because that's tired of walking back and forth. Okay. Um, so let's go out there. Let's spice up our life, spice up our meals and eat a little healthier. Um, make it taste great. Save yourself a ton of money and invest in these spice um, sets from Tupperware. Um, you're going to want the whole set and you're going to want multiple. All right, guys, let's go spice it up. Hey, hey, who's next? <laughs> we are next. We're next. Okay. Um, coming back to our house, I'm. the screens aren't changed yet. We still have Loretta's home screen. Um, um Who's what? changing the screens? There we go. That's Loretta's face. Oh, there we, there we go. We were there a second. Okay. So we have Papa and Luke and Ricky. And it will go there in a second. One of the girls will fix it. Okay. So <laughs> Jim's not used to my team. <laughs> Usually I'm behind a camera. Yeah, I know. Okay. Who's changing it? You're, you're spotlighted. You might just, uh, your view might not be of yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, you know what? It's going to bug you. Let me just give me a second. We'll put it on speaker view. You should be able to see. I don't yeah, it was messing me up too. So I know how you feel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. My daughter's brand new house. We still don't have all the furniture. <laughs> That's okay. That's what happens when you have a new house, right? Okay, here we go. Hi, boys. Hey. Uh, Ready? No, yet. Yeah, slide it this way just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. So go ahead, Papa. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm. We're gonna do a little uh, s'mores dip for you guys tonight. Uh, this is Ricky. This is Luke. This is my grandsons. You know, any family resemblance? Any at all? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so what we're gonna do here? We've got our uh, bit and serve. Okay. We're going to line the bottom of it with Hershey squares. Go ahead, guys. Line the bottom of the bit serve with Hershey squares. Just put them in there. So people, you, know, you gotta line them. You gotta line them, buddy. Maybe here. It's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. Here. Give them. Okay, hand them, hand them to Ricky. Hand them to Ricky because you can put them in there. There you go. You don't have to use no. too many. If there's too many, don't use them all. Yeah, just go ahead, break it off to where to where you've got the bottom lined. Now I'll get up with the marshmallows. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. You can save those two. Okay, you put the marshmallows. You don't eat those, right? Okay. We have our marshmallows in our Tupperware. I love, love our Tupperware for keeping marshmallows fresh. It makes a huge difference. See, it says marshmallows. Doing a great job there, boys. Awesome. We made marshmallows. We had a hundred. I'm going to eat the one. Oh, you're going to eat that one? Yeah, go no ahead surprise. Eat that Go ahead. Okay, so we're, our microwave is hiding underneath the counter here. So I'm going to open the drawer and put it in. See how we lined? Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to... Room for a couple more, boys. All right. It's only going to... Look, you picked that chocolate up off of the marshmallows. <laughs> Finish eating that. Okay, so... Okay, Luke. Move the Luke, my sister. I got Luke. Mr. Luke. All right, Mr. Luke. All right. No, okay, no, we'll so we'll 30 seconds right. in the microwave, and okay, it then. makes the marshmallows bloom, and we have our own s'mores dip. But while we're waiting for that, let's talk about what are these boys? Tupperware's new uh, insulated, uh, wonderful thirst quenchers. These are called the Big T, and this is the Big Little T. Um, they come in the lavender, and I will tell you, I mean that I made tonight that I'm going to show you guys in a little while. It looks pink, but it's lavender and navy. I love the color choices. I think Tupperware was 
spot on on the color choices. They're so cute. Um, you can see this is the big T. This is the big little T. It's what I call it. The big one. Oh, it's called big. Yes. You like it's these true. boys? They are these are your favorite piece of stuff for guys? The boys are loving them. What's nice about these, and uh, uh, way better than uh, some of the competitors out there, when you pull the straw out and shut the top, um, either boy can do that. Oh, <laughs> you didn't shut the top. <laughs> now try it. Not our leak proof. See? Yeah. There we there go. go. <laughs> All right. Put it up, put it All right. So go ahead, uh, Luki, you do it. See there? A completely airtight, airtight when you shut them off. I have to tell you, I have other ones that are just not. <laughs> All right. And so I, I'm not going to diss any names, but I did make a video on it. So. <laughs> I just, yeah, it was water. <laughs> um, but I did make a video on it to show you and um, posted it. So you can see that. You can use that to show your family, friends, whatever. Um, and if you want to, you can use the videos. There's a video with this one with a Yeti, and there's a video with this one with the Stanley. Okay. Luke. Okay. All right. Let's open up our dip. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. That we looks have to, beautiful. We have to stir it up a little bit. No, you just dip. All right, now we're going to use, we're, use, we're using our this makes Scooby it, Snacks. This makes okay. it perfect for the... This is game day for uh, Browns fans, for Dog Pound. Browns, yeah. Okay, here we go. And you get for those of you that are not that Browns fans, point. that's the Dog Pound is what Ooh. the bleacher end of the stadium. All right, here we go. So you dip that in. And... Mm. Uh, <laughs> Where's the chocolate? I need to dig into the chocolate. Go all the way to the bottom. There you go. Oh, yeah, you got some. Very good. Yummy. Yeah. That's so we got our Snoopy snacks because they're graham crackers. So this is good for the kids and in the dog town and your Browns parties this fall. Snoopy right. snacks. Mm. Yeah, you can get them for cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. they're yummy. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We love showing off our little grandsons and teaching you a fun recipe too. You could be doing it at your parties, right? And our vent and service is a remarkable product. Yeah. This never that, stains, sure. never pills, never chips, never pits, and we're making a mess. Right. Take it away, Bonnie. Five million marshmallows mixed Yeah, and when Lukey's Luke just dropping it. them Scooby snacks in the stuff, eat them. Okay, all right. My my lovely assistant is back here. He is making something completely different. Uh, <laughs> we didn't give him enough time to eat out of the kitchen, I guess. Uh, but Gary's using the cookware. He used the shredder to shred up some cheese to make his famous breakfast burritos uh, for our weekend getaway with our family uh, this weekend. So tonight we are going to make, ooh, almost spilled that. We are going to make a pumpkin dip um, using the supersonic. And I tell you what, it's a supersonic September for sure with our special that we have and we love our supersonic we use it for so many different things it comes with a whip um, so you can do things like pudding and mousse salad dressings all good things like that and then it comes with the blade so that you can pretty much uh, chop up anything that you want whether you are doing um, hard things like raw potatoes or carrots um, or you can do things that you want to hide in your food so that your family doesn't actually know what is happening um, they, they, need, they don't always need to know everything that's in the soup or the stew or your ground beef or anything like that, right? You can just chop everything up and they have no idea what they're eating. And if they don't taste the crunch, they don't even know that it's an onion in there. <laughs> so uh, we're going to show you how to make um, the pumpkin dip. So the first thing that we have in here is a bar of cream cheese and a half a cup of pumpkin. And we're going to take in two ounces of our maple syrup. And you know, the Tupper Mini is the perfect little measuring cup for you. Um, it has the lines on there. And when you fill it up to that top line, you have your two ounces of goodies right there. And then it also calls for a half a cup of brown sugar. And I have my quarter cup measuring cup here. And I'm not going to do quite the whole amount because, you know, we don't really need that much sugar. So I found a lot of times you can cut out a little bit of sugar and it's all good. Don't you love the One Touch canisters? They are the best. Here at Snap, you know it's airtight. Um, nothing's going to get in there. Nothing's going to get stale. It just works 
So great. And as Loretta talked about earlier, we have our spice shakers with a little bit of cinnamon to go in there, however much you'd like. I believe it calls for a half a teaspoon. And so we're just going to put that in there and pull the cord a few times. Now, the most important thing to know when you're using your supersonic is you got to use both arms, right? Because you're building those muscles. You hate to have one great big muscle and one, one little wimpy muscle. So make sure that you use both arms. And you can see there, it's already getting mixed up really well. I'm going to take my silicone spatula and kind of scrape down the sides a little bit here. Get all that cream cheese yumminess all mixed together a little bit. Do you guys love the silicone spatula? How many spatulas do you have in your kitchen? I don't know about you guys, but we have like four and ours. And it seems like we're using them all the time. There it goes. So we're, nope, not on there quite, right? I must have moved that center. There we go. Give that a minute, a few more times. And it is great to just really mix everything up, whether you're doing your sauces, um, like I said, your salad dressing, you can do your salsas. Um, it'll chop everything up for you if you're getting ready. You know, soup season is going to be here soon. Speaking of football season, we know that fall is coming rapidly. And when you start doing all those soups and stews, you really want to make sure you have all those good veggies so you can put them in here, chop them up really good, and it's just perfect. And to taste it, we have our vanilla wafers. You can use graham crackers, vanilla wafers, apples, whatever you would like, and it makes the perfect dip, quick, fast, and easy. And remember, when you have your workhorse of the kitchen, you definitely need the large and you need the small one too. And right now, when you um, buy the big one, you get the little one for free. And this one, it is like everybody's best friend. When you just have a little bit of onion or pepper, you need to chop that up or your fresh garlic or your herbs, it will do the trick for you every single time. So you're saving $50 um, when you buy the supersonic this month, you can get the little one for free. Absolutely love it. And while I have you here, I'm also getting ready to make my creamer. Um, and I have started making my own creamer and it's so fast and easy and it tastes better um, than that stuff that you're buying at the store. And it's so much cheaper too. So we're just going to grab our Tupperware can opener. And I always spin mine around this way because once you've had carpal tunnel, that turn, 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 it's not always a really great motion for you. And then you take the can opener and just pull that top right off. No sharp edges. Best can opener ever. I've had this can opener, you can tell, um, a long time. I've probably had this can opener for 15 years, maybe something like that. It's a really long time. Since they were invented. Since, since, since Tupperware came out with their can opener, that's right. So we have our quick shake here, and I'm going to put in a cup of half and half. And there's lots of different ways that you can do this. And you can do all half, half and half or all heavy whipping cream. You can kind of make your own recipe up. So I usually just do a cup of each. And then I do a half a can of sweetened condensed milk. Ooh, almost made a mess there. And <laughs> you can also add a little vanilla or whatever um, flavoring that you like. I usually just do a little vanilla and shake it up. And now I have my coffee creamer ready to go um, for our coffee treats all weekend long. And it costs way less and it's better for you. You don't have all those ingredients that you can't even read, right? When you get your bottle of creamer, you, you don't even know what all those ingredients are. This half and half, half and half, heavy whipping cream, a half a can of sweetened condensed milk, which is just milk and sugar. And then you can add a little bit of vanilla or whatever your favorite seasoning is. So I hope that you guys are excited about September and all the goodies that we have. And I know I'm ready for a little snack tonight and I'm ready for my coffee in the morning. Take it away, Pam. Unmute. Okay. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Hi, Gary. Uh <laughs> All right. Well, how fun incorporating our families all the time in this business. And you know what? I want to remind you, you never have to be perfect when you're doing demonstrations. When you're going live, it used to be years ago, if you weren't perfect, people would think, oh, she's so unprofessional. 
now it's quite the opposite. Be yourself. Don't worry about everything being perfect. Get on. It's okay if the family's there. It's okay. It's called real life. And honestly, people will say, oh, she's so real. I just love her. Okay. And so you got to get to the realization that if you're waiting to be perfect, you're never going to start. <laughs> right? So my daddy always said, you can't find a perfect church. And if you do find one, don't join it because you'll make it imperfect that he's a preacher. Uh, so true about everything in life. Don't wait to be perfect. Just get started. All right. All right. And so let's turn it over now to our Ellen. Miss Ellen is going to teach us some great word choices and some ideas for what's coming up because we have a pretty cool event coming up on the 19th and share it with us, Ellen. Tell us what's going on. Awesome. All right. So we're super excited here in Cleveland. We're going to be doing a live event on the 19th. However, for those of you not in the area, stay tuned. All right. Keep listening because I have some ideas on um, how you can take advantage of this event as well. All right, so first things first, let me just kind of explain the event. So we are doing a bowl exchange, right? Which is super fun. If you've never participated in a bowl exchange before, you are encouraging your customers, your like VIP customers, your hosts, um, anybody that you're trying to talk to maybe about the business that you've had conversations before, maybe somebody that used to be in the business, right? You're inviting them to come to a bowl exchange and they are to bring, I was looking to see if I had anything. I should have had something, but all right. So they are invited to bring an other bowl, right? So it can be a butter bowl. It can be, you know, um, a Gladware, Ziploc, right? Rubbermaid, whatever. They are invited to bring an other bowl to the event and trade it for a piece of Tupperware, right? So we can't guarantee size and any of that kind of stuff. Sometimes you'll come with a great big butter bowl from like Sam's Club and they're expecting a big bowl like that. No, but they're going to get real live Tupperware, right? <laughs> so that's a great deal in itself. So, but for the first 30 minutes, it's going to be kind of open house style, right? And so we're going to have stations. We're going to have try me stations where um, consultants are going to be standing there and they're going to be demoing some of our premium products, such as the Power Chef or the Spiralizer or whatever, right? Um, so they're going to be, so people are going to be able to mingle, walk around, see the various products, ask questions about them. It's very interactive. They even can kind of get hands on and like pull the, the string and, you know, crank the thing for the, for the spiralizer, whatever. Right. So it's a great opportunity for people to actually see some of the products that really make us stand out from anything else that's out there. Right. Um, and then around seven o'clock, so that starts at 630, around seven o'clock, we're going to um, do a presentation about the business, right? And it's going to be talking about the business, the benefits of the business, maybe some people sharing stories, um, and just kind of talking a little bit about how um, the business could maybe benefit them and their families um, should they decide to join Tupperware, right? And then after that, we are actually going to have a record breaker workshop for everybody, um, all of our consultants that are there, um, they're asked to stay and, um, and the guests can leave at that time or they can hang out if they just kind of want to get a glimpse of what our training looks like, right? So that is the flow of the evening. So for those of you that are not in the area, we encourage you to have a watch party, right? You can invite people to your home to watch this and you can be talking to them as you're watching it on the screen um, and be able to just, you know, talk to them a little bit about the product. If you have the product, you can have it there as well. So you could have, even if you just have the chopper, you can have the chopper there and be like, I don't have all these products, but I do have this chopper and I want you guys to check this out, you know, and just kind of like, be talking to them a little bit while that part is going on. So you can kind of have your own little tri stations if you want. Um, and then you can all settle down. You can listen to the presentation and then just talk to them and be like, what do you think? Do you have any questions for me? Right. And so it's a great way for you to be able to tap into a live event in your local area and do something fun like that. And, um, and so, so that's a great way to do it. And also, I mean, if you're already having people over for a watch party, if you have consultants in your area, invite them over to watch the record breaker part of it, right? So you guys can all watch together and be able to share your ahas in your room and talk about how you can maybe implement these ideas or even just kind of problem solve how those ideas um, could work for you, your area, your demographic, whatever it is, right? Okay, so... 
that being said, um, I want you to think about um, about like who you're going to invite, right? So the invite is key. There needs to be communication around the invite, right? There needs to be communication about what's going to actually go on. You know, so you're talking to your customers, you're talking to your host. You can you can ask your customers, be like, hey, bring your sister with you, bring your best friend with you, bring your neighbor with you, right? Just make sure to tell them that this is what's going to happen. They bring an other bowl, right? And then they swap it for a Tupperware bowl. Then they get to hands-on see some of our premium products. And after that, for about you know 20 30 minutes they're going to be talking a little bit about the business and their experiences in the business and they're inviting us to stay for that to just kind of learn a little bit more about it um and then we can all go out to drinks right so give them word choices on how to invite their friends um because if they're just like come to this thing i'm having a tupperware party you should come to this with me and we're going to see products and then we go into talking about the business it's going to feel a little bait and switchy so it's really 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 important to communicate to the people you're inviting how to communicate to the people they're inviting to the event so that that way it's a great experience for everybody involved all right so I do have some word choices here. Let me just kind of pull them over so I'm not looking sideways here. So I do have some word choices about how to invite people um, that maybe were on your team before, right? Um, there are lots of different ways that you can invite people that were on the team before. One of the biggest things is it depends upon the relationship you had with them right? When they were in the business. And it depends upon the, what their point of being in the business before was. So if they join for a discount, right? So these actually, I got these word choices from Jenny Cheatham. She probably doesn't even realize I still have all these, but anyways. So I got these word choices from Jenny Cheatham and she says, you know, if they join for a discount, she says something along the lines of, hi, Lori, how are things going? After the reply, great, your kids are so cute in your pictures. You know, she's kind of scoped out her Facebook and make sure that she's kind of up to date on things going on in their lives and say, I'm not sure you realize, but your Tupperware account closed. Um, and I know you love the discount. So good news, you can get back in um, and, and be able to kind of get some of the freebies that are, you can get right up front. It's pretty much a win-win, right? And so that's a great way to talk to people. Um, another is like, you know, I noticed your account was closed. I'm reaching out, see if you'd like to reactivate it, you know, um, also, you know, talking to people and just be like, hey, we just started a new month and we have specials, right, for people that want a discount. And you tell them whatever the, you know, um, the the join in $100 order uh, gift is, right? You talk to them about those sort of things. You know, so lots of different ways to just kind of casually get in there, you know, and just really talk to them um, on their level and be like, you know, have a real conversation. Hi, how are things going? You know, I was thinking about you and wanted to see if you were interested in reopening your account again, you know, and then talk to them about things that have changed, right? We have a new website. We have new, um, we have a new website. We have a new order process, right? That's way easier. I mean, you can like close out a party without having to have a catalog there. I mean, that is like, at the first time I did that, I was like, this is amazing, right? <laughs> You know, we have we have um, a lot more resources for them here at Champion. You know, we have different things like that. And and don't be afraid to be like, hey, I'm a better leader now. Like, I know more about what I'm doing. When when you were in before, we both were kind of the blind leading the blind. But there's some cool things going on. I've been having some success. I would love for you to come back and experience that type of stuff with me. So don't be afraid right? Don't be afraid to I uh, to talk to people on a real level and be honest with them. Um, I say all the time, I wish I could go back and recruit all the people that I recruited in my first year of the business, because let me tell you, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and I was just like, ignorance on fire, okay? I was just like, I'm going here. And if you want to come with me, get, get in line, you know, come on, let's go. Oh, you're not coming. Okay, well, I'm still moving this way. And I just left people behind, okay? <laughs> because I was so focused and I didn't really know how to bring them with me, right? So don't be afraid to talk to people on a real level and be like, hey, I'm trying something new and I would love to experience that with you. And maybe you're, you know, kind of digging into the social media world with your business, right? And you're like, I'm not 100% what I'm doing, but there are some people that are having some success and I'm looking for somebody to partner with to try these new Facebook parties or try these new messenger parties or to try a bingo party, you know, or whatever, you know, don't be afraid to talk to them on that level um, because people love nothing more than 
when you're your most authentic self, right? So I, I love when Pam said, you know, make, do, do it messy, right? You know, it's okay if you mess up. It's okay if it's not perfect. And honestly, it's even better. It makes you more relatable. Nobody, like, if I see somebody perfect, I'm like, I could never be that. So I'm not even going to try, right? That's where my brain goes, right? Some people are like, game on. I'm going to be even better than that person. That's actually not me. Like I'm just like, that's the reason why I compete. I'm competitive with myself. It's me against me. It's me bettering my best, right? That is where I'm competitive. Um, I'm not competitive against other people. That doesn't drive me. Um, but if it drives you, use it, right? So, um, so I hope that that helps kind of giving you a couple little ideas on word choices. I'll post some of these. I also have some from um, uh, Jessica Gordon and Amy Gardner a while back. I mean, like when I say a while back, like I think two or three years, I was like, Hey guys, you know, send me, send me some word choices and I'll, I'll quote you in here. So I will get that stuff posted. Um, and you can kind of see some of their ideas as well. Um, so yeah, let's get some of our, I love this, bring back our friends, right? Bring back some of our friends from Tupperware in the past, right? And and it, because that's what it is. It, it's a friendship. And I can't tell you how many people we've recruited back into the business. And when they, when they come back, they're just like, it just feels like coming home. Like it feels good, you know? And I remember um, somebody that was on my team through all the years I was growing, right? And she's been on my team this whole time, but she kind of faded away a little bit and she's a little bit inactive here, a little bit active there, right? And she showed up at something in the last year. And I, it was the best feeling sitting at that table with her. I was so excited. And I was like, I love that you're here. It feels like old and I love this, you know, and she felt it too. And that's what you're offering these people that used to be in the business with you. You're offering them that, that feeling, that wonderful feeling that they had before when they were in the business and you're bringing that back to them. So don't be afraid. The worst thing they're going to do is say, Ellen, it is just not good at time. My family's crazy right now and I can't keep up. I would love to. I just don't have the time, right? That's the worst thing that they, they could possibly say. But think about the best thing they could say. They could be like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for something. What a great solution to this problem is going back to Tupperware, going back to something I know, you know? And so, um, and also something else that's changed, uh, weekly pay, hello, for online orders. That's a big deal. Okay, that's a big deal. And that's a selling point. So talk to people about some of those things that have changed. So, um, all right. So I hope that that helps. And I'm super excited to see how many people we can um, bring to Cleveland. But I'm even more excited to hear about your success of your watch parties, right? I'm really excited about that. And you know what? If you try it and it's a flop, that doesn't mean it's not for you. It just means we need to put our heads together and figure out a way to make it work even better the next time when you give it a shot. All right, so back to you, Pam. Great word choices, Ellen. Thank you. Bonnie, your demo was amazing. I Seriously, Loretta, wonderful information tonight. I just love how we all come together and help each other with these great ideas. Um, and next, we're going to have Jenny in just a minute. But first, we want to do a little trivia. We have trivia here that was sent to me um, by one of my amazing assistants. Let's see what we have. Um, Georgine Mulder, uh, has been in Tupperware longer than anyone else. Uh, how many years has she been in business? She's not a champion, but she is in Tupperware in the U S how many years has she been in business? Put it in the chat. If you know how many years, Ooh, 73, Amy says 65. Ooh, that's very close. Um, that was Debbie 65, uh, 63, Amy Gardner. You got it. <laughs> You couldn't have Googled that. I don't think it would be in the Google. <laughs> All right. She is actually 87 years old and she has sold Tupperware for 63 uh, years. All right. So congratulations, Amy. You're the winner. Pam Swag coming to you. So what happens when we do trivia is we do give away a gift to the winner that uh, post it first in the chat. And that goes to Amy this time and um, you get Pam swag. So we, we mail you a gift. All right. Cost you nothing, not even shipping. It's just for fun. All right. Um, uh, I hope that all of our guests tonight have registered and said, Hey, I'm a guest here. So we can get, make sure you get a gift. What you'll do is you'll need to uh, message me on um, private messenger. Uh, and I would prefer 
uh, one place. So I don't have to keep looking for it in all different places. Just personal message me. Um, and uh, that would be Pamela Matheny Clift. And I believe Jessica probably put that already in there for you to find that. All right. Next question is, uh, what year did Pam join Tupperware? Oh, that would be me. <laughs> what year did Pam join Tupperware? Oh, let's see who's going to guess this one right. Let's see. Oh, 1981. Good guess. Oh, 1983, Marsha Richmond. You are so good. All right. She got it. I was five. <laughs> At least I'm admitting to five. I used to say minus six, but <laughs> 1983, I joined the Tupperware business. I was very young and I decided that I was just needed free Tupperware. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for it because I was poor. <laughs> I was broke and it was the perfect way for me to get Tupperware. All right. Next question is, where was the first Tupperware planted lo uh, plant located in the uh, in the world? Where was the first Tupperware plant plant located? Let's see who can get this one. Hmm, Texas? Nope. Uh, Massachusetts. Uh, that is true. Uh, we wanted the city. Did you know the city? Pam Callahan was right with Massachusetts. Let's give her a gift and anybody that comes up with the city. Hmm, not Kissimmee, that would be in Orlando. Hemingway, South Carolina, no, but that's where the plant is currently. Uh, let's see, well, Massachusetts was right. Okay, Boston, no, uh, Bods, yeah, no, I don't know what that meant. Oh gosh, I remember, I used to know this, okay. Oh, somebody came out, there you go, Marsha. You're trying to save me shipping. Now I can ship you two prizes with one ship tag. Thank you, Marsha. <laughs> All right, that was right, uh, Leon Minister. And so congratulations. Uh, so Pam and Marsha get a gift for that. All right, how fun is that? We love trivia time and it's just a good way to kind of educate yourself too about this time, the business. So we'll try to do more business related ones because it's always good to know uh, your Tupperware trivia. All right. And so next we're going to turn it over to Jenny. She is going to show you some of the newest products, gives you an idea of the sizes and helps you understand uh, what you want to add to your uh, kitchen or to your demonstration. Uh, so you want to get it in for your parties or your online parties. We are going to start taking more and more pictures, uh, real life pictures of the product and posting it for you guys so that you can have um real live images, real images. And so, I mean, the ones that Tupperware gives us are amazing, but sometimes it really takes that real image. Okay, take it away, Jenny. Hey, hi guys. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to say to start with was, one of the products that's in our September brochure is that spice carousel with the spice shakers. And I would buy that after listening to Loretta. You know why? because she likes it and she loves it and she's excited and she knows about it. And that's what you have to do if you're going to get your customers to want what we have to have, you know, they, they need to want it anyway, but you need to let them know why they want it, why they need it. So just throwing a picture out there on Facebook and going like, look, you can get these four bowls for $9. Yay, okay. Why do you want these bowls? These bowls, they're uh, one and three quarter cup bowls. They're microwave safe. They are absolutely fantastic for especially like little desserts, fruit cups, things like that for the smaller kids in your life, okay? These would be perfect for Rick and Lukey, Lukey for their own individual s'more steps, okay? This would be fantastic. And yeah, you can get all four for $9, but you know what? You can get the next size up, the soup bowls. You can get those for $11, which is fantastic too. But you can get this whole set with the microwave plates, eight microwave bowls, and the four 16 ounce tumblers. They all match, they go together. So if you have four kids or four people in your family, everybody can have their own color. You can mix and match them, and they're pretty. You can get that whole set for $45, which is a much better deal. And that's what you want to be able to tell your customers. These are great tumblers. These are the tumblers people ask for all the time. The long straight tumblers with the seals. We add, people ask for them and sometimes we have them, sometimes we don't. This is fantastic. And you know what? You can take this little seal 
and set it down and use that as kind of like a coaster if you've got if you're someplace where you on wood or stuff like that you don't want the grid for it so these are the things that you'd want to know about these kind of products now this is one thing that's in our september line these back here and this is <laughs> this is a gallon pitcher you guys a gallon pitcher this holds one of those giant plastic gallons of milk so you can put iced tea in here, you can put lemonade in here, you can put iced coffee in here, you can put your favorite margaritas in here, okay? These are fantastic and they match this set down here. All right, and you also get with the tumbler or with the pitcher, you can get two of these five cup canisters, two of the, um, which are almost three cups, okay? And then with this set for $99, you get all of this up here, you get the pitcher, you get these four things, and you get a giant, like literally a giant 28 cup canister that comes with four one cup um, little, they're, they're like this, only they're half the size. And they snap onto each other. I don't have them here. They are fantastic. And we've had them in other sets before. So you can get all of that, everything from those little holes up front all the way up here, plus the five pieces that I don't have here. For $99. It is an absolutely amazing set. And but you have to be excited about it. Okay, this picture, this picture has the you know the, the snap top that everybody loves, and it's got the infuser in it. So if you have iced tea in here and you want to put lemon in that infuser, you just put it down in there and the lemon goes in the iced tea. If you want to put mint in there, the mint will go in the iced tea. Just Anything that you like to do, if you want to put water in here and just put fruit in the infuser, you will have that fruit flavored water that everybody loves and it's pretty. Okay, we're going to move over here a little bit and talk about these serving sets. All right, this right here, this is a 40 cup says salad bowl. Okay, and it comes with the forks. So you've got your salad bowl. It's huge inside, okay? And this seal, this seal is liquid tight and airtight. So when you put it in the car to take it somewhere, when you hand it to the kids to take it outside, if you've got that seal on it, it doesn't matter if they drop it or not. It's not going anywhere. And this bowl is huge inside, okay? You can put fruit salad, pasta salad, macaroni salad, salad salad. You could do almost anything in here. You could, yeah, I mean, that's giant. You could put anything in there, okay? You bob for apples in this bowl. That season's coming up too. This whole this right here, this right here is $25. $25 for this bowl. Now, what are these up here that match? Okay, and are you looking? They match this set over here too. So somebody is thinking, okay, that blue bowl, this blue plate, and this blue right here, they all go together. And there's blue in this that's the same color as this. So make it absolutely beautiful outside table or back patio table, something like that. But these two pieces right here, we're going to talk about this in a minute. These two pieces right here, this is, it's called a rice keeper, all right? If you can put rice in there, guess what? You can put anything you want in there, okay? And it has a spoon that goes with it, all right? Sits right on here and it kind of clicks. There's a little thing right there that it just clicks onto there. And you set this in here, keep it warm. These are microwave safe. This is not necessarily microwave safe. This is microwave safe. This is a soup bowl. It has the same kind of, it has the same color. It has a ladle with it, all right? You could use this for sauces. You could use it for soups. You get both of these for $25. So this is a lot of fun right here, okay? It, and they're two really nice size bowl serving bowls that you can use. But again, you have to be excited to get your customers excited about them. Now, here's a, the, last week we talked about the shape of all, right? So what's another, I remember Tupperware moment for everybody? These right here, okay? These salt and pepper shakers. And I always say, everybody was always like, my grandma had them, I remember my aunt had them, I remember my mom had them on the stove, which always amazed me because I'm like, the plastic, I don't know why you would keep them on the stove, but okay. You know what I looked up today? You know when these first came out? These salt and pepper shakers first came out in 1960. 
Now, I'm going to take a real big guess and say that most of you were not around in 1960, okay? So that's how old these are. These are 64 years old. That's why everybody remembers them. That's why everybody loves them. And right now, they can get them with all the matching stuff, okay? With a butter dish for $20. You know what these are in the catalog? These are more than $20 in the catalog by themselves. They're going to throw in a free butter dish. Get all of these things to, um, you know, set your table with, to entertain your guests with. I got just a couple more things. I'm going to hurry through this, okay? Bonnie already talked about the power or the um, supersonic and the small chopper. This is one of the best deals I've ever seen, seriously. And the thing that I like the most about it, which might sound silly to some of you, but you can buy this in the catalog and you can get the big one and the little one together as a set. But when you do, it only comes with one top, all right? When you buy it out of the catalog, it comes like this. Right now, if you get it in our September sale with the buy one, get this free, you get the top for the little one too, which means that you don't have to switch the tops back and forth. I love that, and I'm really, really excited about that. All right, I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna do one more thing, because while you're talking to your customers about all of this, don't tell them about the host gift special. This host gift special, there's two. This one right here, I love Crystal Wave. I, I, Crystal Wave is probably one of my favorite storage products that we have. And I love it because the seals are so easy to deal with, okay? They go right back on, they just snap on, and you've got the vent at the top for the steam. So you don't, it's no muss, no fuss. They have the stain guard with them. And this is, you get all of this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna run through this real quick, right? One cup, two cup, four cups, seven cups, nine cups. This is a divided three cup. These are two and a quarter cup bowls. These are divided, two divided, three and a quarter cup bowls. You get all of this for a $500 party and two babies, all right? You get the whole set for that. Now, you want to be able to show these, okay? You want to be able to tell people, and maybe you don't have the hostess set, maybe you don't have all these pieces. So you, just like your customers, need to check our online exclusives and our specials because some of these things are on there that you could order for yourself, you get your discount, and you could share them with your customers and say things like, right? This is part of our host gift special. And you could let them see them. And the other thing that comes with the host gift special that is not anywhere else that I have seen to buy are these little things. You get two of these. You know what's in here? This is the coolest thing ever. First off, it opens up and they are in there. You get a spoon and a fork with these little things that snap in here. Okay. So Put your fork together if you have like a full size fork and you have a spoon. <laughs> you know what these other two things are? They gave you chopsticks. All right, I think that's to go with the rice server. But you have chopsticks, you've got a spoon and a fork, you've got two sets of those. You get all of this crystal wave for a $500 party with two ratings. Now, if you get your customers excited about these products over here, you're going to have a $500 party before they ever get to the catalog. And once they get to the catalog, you're going to have a thousand dollar party and you're going to book some more. So these are the things that you want to look at, but it's all in, honestly, your mindset and your attitude. Find a product that you love, find something you have in your hand that you can use and talk to your customers about why it's good for them. Not why you need them to buy it, why they need it in their home, what it's going to do for them, how it's going to make their life easier and how much fun they're going to have using our products. So we're going to talk about new products every time they come out and we have them. I hope you guys get something out of this. And remember, go to your website um, and look, just click on the picture of the product. Go like you're a customer to the website. Click on the picture of the product. And there are so many uh, things on there that you can learn. It talks about the products. It talks about the benefits. It talks about the care of the product. All of those things are there for you from Tupperware. So don't say, I don't know that much about the products. I don't either. I go look, okay? 
it's fine. You can do it. And like Ellen said, you know, you don't have to be perfect to do this. Pam said you don't have to be perfect. Ellen said you can be, um, what was the word she used? You can be, um, help somebody, come on. Authentic? Uh, no, not authentic. You can be relatable. I am one of the most relatable people you've ever seen. I have dropped bowls. I have spilt water. I have dumped entire recipes, okay? It's all right. People love it. So I will talk to you guys later. Go ahead, Pam. All right. Thank you, Jenny. I have too, Jenny. I started when I was about four dumping food on the floor. <laughs> well, I'm sure I did it in the high chair, but uh, I can remember my parents I always had a big Sunday dinner and we had company over and I was carrying the meatloaf. I was probably about six from the, uh, from the counter to the kitchen table. And I dumped it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And my mom, poor mom, we got out chicken. Uh, we got a uh, preacher steak, which was bologna, and, and changed the menu. <laughs> Always funny. All right. It's funny now. It wasn't funny then. All right. So how awesome. Thank you, Jenny, for showing us all those products. That really helps us understand uh, the the sizes when you see it. I mean, I honestly, who knew the gallon, that picture was a gallon picture? I was thinking it was a two-quart picture because I was just looking at the picture and not reading the words. Uh, so it was really good to see it. And it's so big. Wow. All right. And so um, next, we want to talk to you a little bit about our challenges and what we got going on for this month. And um, let's see. There we go. Uh, so thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, Jenny, do we have anybody else I'm missing besides me for the, uh, we've gone through all of our trainers, right? Right. Okay. So last chance um, for our cell. Uh, pay attention, guys, because there is going to be a lot going on on your websites, and we'll be trying to tell you all the time, but they're doing a lot of sales, all right? They're doing a lot of benefits, a lot of bonuses, a lot of things going on, so pay close attention. You never know when something's going to come out that normally sells for $36 for $15, like that Shea Bowl toy. Hello. All right. I had... Uh, Robin told me she sold 10 today. That's awesome. All right. And so please pay attention and be aware. Keep checking our team page. Um, Tupperware is doing um, a really nice new program. If you're not getting them, they are sending consultant text um, and they're also sending consultant emails. And so if you're not getting your text and your emails, check into that and see why so that you can get back in uh, in the um uh, in the know all the time. Our kit is $139. It is loaded with great sampling. I highly recommend you really show this off. Uh, have a flyer on your demo tables. Have a flyer on your um, event tables. Um, and also we still have the $15 opportunity. Uh, a lot of times when people are on the fence, they are thinking they'll do it, they'll do it, they'll do it. They come in for the $15 opportunity, but sometimes change their mind right before they hit submit and go for that big kit so that they can have uh, a lot of product um, to demonstrate. Although I don't care, and I know you don't care uh, which kit they choose. In fact, I almost find that to be a benefit if they come in for the $15 and pick their favorite products that they want to have to talk about, something they already love, something they know they really want in their kitchen. Um, add those to their kitchen, um, into your kit, and spend that $113, $139, the difference of $120, uh, 120 uh, about uh, spend that on something else that you really, really want. Then know you're going to also earn um, all of these gifts. Hmm. All of these gifts here in the uh, new Confident Start program, which is now called Ready, Set, Activate. And you can earn these gifts through that. And so you're going to get a lot of extra stuff in your next few weeks of working the business anyways. Okay, so... Speaking of extra, I love this mug as I've had it in my home for a couple years now and I absolutely love it. It is insulated. It keeps coffee really, really hot. I asked Jenny to take a picture of it with um, coffee in it. And then I said, well, why don't you put some whipped cream in it to really show it fluffy and, and festive and fun. So she put the whipped cream in it and it melted right away. And so I said, put the coffee in the refrigerator. Nobody knows it's not hot. We just need the coffee in there and for the color and to see it. And we'll put Cool Whip on top of it and take a picture in a couple hours. Well, four hours later, the coffee is still melting the whipped cream. <laughs> so that is some hot coffee. All right. And so that is crazy that so you're going to get this um, 
for only $5 when you bring a new recruit into the system, okay? And so get going. You wanna do that ASAP. Um, this is your gift when you have um, a total of $500 submitted uh, and that it's only $20. I love our freezer containers. I always need more um, from September 5th, which just started to the 18th. A great promotion for you to grab a hold of and uh, sell, sell, sell order, 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 collect those orders and get them submitted before the 18th and hit 500. You can do this twice. And so if you hit a thousand, you'd get two of these. What a great way to make profit on your vendor tables. All right. And this is for the entire month. When you have a thousand dollars in the entire month, you're going to get all of this and you're going to get it for just 15. I love our silicone bags. They are so practical and smart. Uh, at 2,500, an entire array of storage uh, and these are the containers that I have used all the kids' lives for their their uh, personal things. And um, I always like to have one of these for each kid and so that you can either put their pictures in it from school and, and their, you know, their arts and crafts and maybe baby outfits, things that you just really know you want to keep forever for that child. Um, really great containers to have. I use the big one for that. The smaller ones are good for all kinds of crafts, everything from coloring books and crayons to, uh, to yarns and needlepoint, anything you're storing and using, uh, want to keep handy and convenient and clean. All right. So you'll love those. Don't forget if you're doing 2,500, you've also put yourself into to the range of a $150 bonus. And so you can see the bonus chart here in personal sales, the higher the personal sales go, the bigger the bonus. And so go for that thousand dollar bonus. Uh, we have several girls that do that regularly. All right. And oh boy, these are going to re release now. Um, the 13th, I believe is the release on the purple, on the smaller ones. And the big one is the 16th. And so 16th and 13th. All right. Wonderful products to bring out. And if you're collecting uh, pre-orders, uh, you can make sure that you get them ordered right away for people that want to pick up from you and get them shipped and then personal orders directly to them for those that want to have theirs um, uh, come directly to them. Uh, important things to know, cold and hot drinks, uh, st uh, the straw and the spout come with it. So it has a straw. And if you pull this out, you also have, you saw a uh, little guy uh, tilted over with this not being closed, um, and that is the spout. And so you can drink right here from it without a straw, which I really like that because when I take it to the, for instance, I took it to the volleyball game the other night, my granddaughter's volleyball game, I could carry it and not feel like it was going to leak. And I didn't have to feel like I had to hold it like this. I could just throw it in a bag or anything, and then I could open it up and drink from it regularly. And also, Sometimes I feel like the straw when I'm out and about in public, I feel like maybe it's not staying clean. And so it's nice to have that option to keep it completely shut. And both of them do that. Um, lead free, yay. Leak proof, yay. Scratch resistant, meaning this is a powdered coating. And so it's not going to scratch easy and it's not going to chip the paint like you see some of the others are doing if you've had them for very long. All right. And uh, Aaron, 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 good, no, 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 no. <laughs> you're gonna I can't I can't say it do you guys ever have that word that won't roll off your tongue <laughs> aerodynamic Ooh, uh wasn't it either uh okay I'm not gonna try it's not coming off the handle is really ergonomic <laughs> thank ergonomic. you Thank you, Ms. Pam Callahan. I always trust you to get, help me out. Thank you. She said it. And so it's really nice to be able to hold that handle. Uh, cup holder compat uh, uh, compatible. And that is true. I haven't seen a cup holder here in Atlanta out of all the cars I've been in that this doesn't fit in absolutely perfect and easy. All right. And also the large one does hold 37 ounces The Stanley holds 36 and uh, the small holds 21 and the Yeti is a 20 ounce. Okay. And so we're just, I mean, not that that really matters that much, but it is a little bigger. All right. And so what? We need something special, right? And so we're going to run a promotion because you're going to be able to get these really soon. And we know you're going to need new stickers so that you can show off the fun, all right? And so we have new stickers and some current uh, older stickers that we're going to give you a chance to earn. And we've got a ton more. And so you are going to get stickers for every $100 that you submit this week. And you're getting stickers for free, all right? And so all you're going to do is pay the shipping, which to you is going to be 
like nothing unless you order a whole, whole bunch. <laughs> if you order that many, I might just ship it to you for free. <laughs> All right. If you have $20,000 in sales and need to have 200 of these, they're coming free. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, but what's nice about this is it's going to be a great a range of different stickers for you to use in your business and your Yeti, um, uh, Yeti wannabe, was a bee. <laughs> you know what they're tougher they are big t wannabes now yeah. all right and so i'm loving these and the big style is to sticker them up and so we're going to get you loaded with some cool fun logo stickers from tupperware that you can use on these and everything else phone covers laptops i mean they're so fun and remember to get the sticker off it's super easy you just use a little bit of alcohol and you can pull them off just as easy as you put them on yeah. all right and so if you want to change your stickers out you just peel it off and then anything can be left just a little bit of alcohol and it pulls it right off all right and so what a fun week right free stick Stickers, all right, surprise stickers with that. And so for every hundred dollars you submit, you get another sticker. All right, let's see who's doing what. Robin, congratulations last week, 622. Bonnie Alexander, 639. And wouldn't you were sick? <laughs> Bonnie's sales are already huge. <laughs> she must have taken some time off and you should do that, Bonnie. Yes, you did. All right. Nikki, 765 and Martha Shuttler, uh, 828. Uh, Rena Bickley, 919. Jessica Gordon, 1000. Uh, Delilah, uh, 1200. Loretta, 1280. Uh, Paula Berry, 1331. And number one, Tammy McCong, congratulations, superstar this week. All right, and unit sellers, Julie Herbert and Pam Callahan and Marianne Miller and Sharon Domer and Kathy Rockwell, Rockwood and Erica Palmer and Sarah Weaver, John, Don Jameson, 1100, uh, uh, Manel Franklin, 14, and Rena Bickley, 19, congratulations. Team sellers, Nikki Micah, Pam Green, Jessica Gordon, Ellen Lewis, Pat Fraley, Loretta DeCenzo Tiber, congratulations, number three, Amy Gardner at $39.24. Look at that, $23 difference. And Bonnie Alexander at $4,163. And number one, drumroll, BC Champs, congratulations at $5,703. All right, org sellers, congratulations, Loretta DeCenzo Tiber, Amy Gardner, uh, Bonnie Alexander, and number one, Ellen Lewis at $10,000 in org sales, congratulations. Uh, personal recruiting, Ellen Lewis won, Manel Franklin won, uh, Vicki Firmer won, uh, Carrie Rowan uh, won, Patricia LaFarley uh, won, and Bonnie Alexander won, Jessica Gordon won, Loretta won, and Tammy McClung won. Yeah, notice that sales break a tie. All right. Tammy was number one in personal sales. And even though she has one and they all have one, she is number one here. All right. Unit recruiting. Congratulations, Sharon Domer, number one, and Manel Franklin, two. Uh, team recruiting. Ellen Lewis, uh, Pat Fraley, Pam Green, Bonnie Alexander, Jessica Gordon, Loretta Zinstein Tiber, PC Champs with three. Congratulations. Org recruiting, Loretta and Ellen and Bonnie Alexander is number one. Congratulations on that. Parties up. We're going to have a drawing right now. You always want to register your parties up. And we did so fun last week with our party challenge that we ran, our Label Day challenge. And we had 47 parties pulled in. Yay. So we're going to be giving away a lot of gifts. And the good news is um, that our number one, uh, who was number one? Uh, um, Peggy. Peggy. All right. That's what I thought it was. I didn't want to say it out loud until I checked with you again, but Peggy, congratulations. You were the number one dater. So we're excited to see your sales come in. It will be so fun to watch you succeed like that. And we also have everybody is entitled to um, one of the bags that dated. And so we'll get that order form up there for you to be able to order your bag. And good news is we'll be doing our drawings too and giving away a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead right now and give it away. Who's going to win our parties up tonight? Okay, we had 141 parties up. Woohoo! All right, 141. Uh, congratulations, champions. And our winner is? Loretta. <laughs> Yay, Loretta's up there with all those parties up. Her odds were pretty good, guys. Uh, 17 parties up. Congratulations. All right. And so, um, Peg, uh, Jenny, what else do we have to give away tonight? We have, um, oh, our odd odds from last week. Okay, let's do it. All right. 
There was a lot of those too. So we Nancy Davis. Nancy Davis. All right. Nancy Davis, congratulations. All right. And so um, and these are our Pam swags. Um, and we're doing a little different on our uh, why we're waiting on that on the share the shine. Um, and so you can stay tuned for that. But what we want is them to be um, business leading uh, selling tips. And so, of course, we love the happy Tuesday morning and stuff like that, but we don't need that. We need tips, tips, tips. And so we're asking you to change it up to be in tips and so that we can release them and, and everybody learn. So any tip or any success story that you had, hey, I worked an event, uh, I had you know a three-day event, it rained really bad, but I got two datings I'm super excited about or whatever the case is, you can share with us because we want to cheer you on um, and we want to learn uh, from you how, what, how what made what worked for you and so people can ask you back say how'd you get the datings or who dated and things like that and so we can really learn from each other um and so we're changing the share the shine and you'll see hear more information about that we're changing it up but one of the biggest changes are we are definitely going for tips business tips selling tips and success stories uh for share the shine from now on okay so thank you so much take it away jenny what else are we giving away uh we're doing share the shine there you go. Right oh. timing. Okay. That is Debbie Qualls. Okay, Debbie. You know what, Debbie? You are the perfect example of why I'm doing this. Your sharing is amazing. And it really is effective for us to, I mean, the things you're sharing are great. And it gives everybody else inspiration of trying to make that happen. So I'm glad you just won. Congratulations. All right. What else we got, Jenny? Um, that's it, but can I say something really quick? Yes. Um, thanks. So make sure that you are getting your, if you want anything, trivia or Pam Swag or whatever it is your name was drawn for, please get those addresses to Pam in her messenger. And please understand that for the next week or two, it might take a little longer for things to get out. We're working as fast as we can. <laughs> Jenny has a handicapped knee. <laughs> she's having a very sore knee, torn ligaments. And so she's not able to move around as quick, nor should she. All right. So, but we'll get them out to you. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you had a great time tonight. I enjoy you so much. And look at this. We're only a few minutes late later than I want to be. Our rally is really supposed to end at 9.15. And so we did good. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. For all the people that stayed on. Yeah, thank you. Great job. Bye-bye.